Hi, she was seven. Okay, so I want to talk to you guys real quick. This is going to be a really quick video. And I'm going to talk about uh, reading between the lines, okay? A lot of women don't know how to read between the lines when men say things to them, okay? I'm a pro at translating what men really mean, okay? Um, for example, if you are on a date with a guy or talking to a guy and they say, oh, you know, I'm not really looking for anything serious right now uh, my, or my heart was just broken and I'm not trying to get into a relationship right now. Um, you know, but, I, I, you know, we can date, we can whatever. To a woman, to some women, this is me. This means, oh, he's going to be a challenge. Oh, he's going to fall for me. I know that. I can make him fall in love. But in reality, what that man is really trying to tell you, I just want to sleep with you. I don't want no strings. Okay, deal with it. That's what he's trying to tell you, okay? And, okay, so if a man says, oh, you, you, you're you really smart and, um, you know, I see you're very independent, take care of yourself, you know? Good for you. Translation, I can't do anything for you. I can't impress you. Um, I'll date you and maybe sleep with you, but, you know, I'm not. it's not going to be anything long-term because... You're not going to be impressed by me and my ego was big and I need someone to be impressed by me and with you, I can't impress you. Okay. That's what that means. Okay. So for example, if a, if a man says, oh, um, you know, I bet you can cook or you look like you make a good wife, blah, 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 blah. Basically he's saying, I want to exploit you for your, um, your feminine aspects, your cooking, your cleaning, your, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, but I'm not going to marry you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this means he wants to exploit what it is to be, to have wife privileges without being married. Okay. It means I want to play house with you, but I'll never marry you. Okay. When someone says, oh, you look like a wife material. I bet you can cook. I bet you can do this. And then He's thinking, oh, the girl's going to be like so uh, flatter. She's going to start naming off dishes and stuff that she can cook and blah, 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 blah. No. Like, your response to that should be, yeah, I bet I could if I was married. <laughs> okay. Um, another another thing guys say is, um, so what are you looking for in a man? Translation is, what do I have to do to sleep with you? <laughs> How do I have to act? Give me some clues on what you're interested in so I can fake it till I make it. Or give me some clues how to get in your pants. Okay? So whenever whenever a guy asks you what kind of man you're looking for, um, don't ever answer it. Mm -mm. Walk around that question. Say, oh, well, I don't know if I'm really looking for a man right now. But I'll know, it when I, I know him when I see him. Or I'll know it when I meet him. Basically, you just told him, you probably not the one for me. And I'm not going to tell you how to get in my pants. <laughs> You're going to have to work. That's what that's saying, okay? Don't ever answer that question. What are you looking for in a man? Because first of all, he, they're just gathering information from you so they can sleep with you, okay? Or they're gathering information from you so they can know if they measure up or not. And you don't ever want to know, let a man know what you have, what kind of job you have, unless it's just obvious. But if you can keep it from him, the longer the better. Don't ever tell a man how much money you make. Don't ever tell a man what you do for a living on the first couple of meetings. Mm -mm. And, you know, always scoot around certain questions that try to get information out of you, you know. Um, because they're gathering information to try to, you know, to see what they can get now not all guys are like this there are some truly genuine men who will show like a lot of interest in you and what you want to uh, have in life and you'll you'll know those men it's not gonna seem like game they're gonna be like sh the nice guy that most women just pass up because they're too predictable too easy too nice and probably someone you're not really attracted to now I'm not saying those aren't good guys I'm just saying a lot of times women like uh, to be pursued and if uh, if that man is not really pursuing them and they're just shelling out compliments you know instead of showing like general interest like um, I'm here for you I'm vulnerable here um, 
if they're just asking a bunch of questions and being nice and you know women are more attracted to masculinity okay but they're also turned off by too much masculinity it's like okay you're psycho if you're if you're too nice as a man it's like i might cheat on you <laughs> so um you gotta find that middle ground you know and when a guy says oh i've had my heart broken this means i'm not committing to you anytime soon don't ask me to be your boyfriend i'm not meeting no parents okay that's what that means so uh, oh and i don't trust you and i never will trust you that's what he's saying so mm -hmm. also when a man says oh you know let's let's see if if let's talk about it or we'll see or you know when you're trying to solidify some plans or a date you know and he'll he'll say i don't know let's see let's go let's play it by ear i'll call you the day of i'll call you the night before when they say that that means like i have other plans but if those plans don't follow through you're my second option and i'll call you at the last minute and i know that you're gonna be eager to go out with me um and even if my plans don't fall through, you know, you'll be so eager to date me the next time. So if you have a last minute planner or someone who won't commit to a time and a place and a date in advance, they're saving you for their second option. They have more important things to do, ladies, okay? So a lot of women are confused and they don't understand why, I'm trying to look at the time, why men, um, you know say all these things to them and oh well, he sounded really interested in me oh he's this and he's that he's just trying to get information out of you to see the easiest way to work his way into you know either getting in your pants your wallet or um you know exploiting you in some way you know um women want to ask the questions women want to keep themselves a mystery women want to read between the lines you know so what do you do for, if a man asks you what you do for a living and i've said this in another video oh i work a nine to five you know the grind don't give any details well what field are you in oh i do a little bit of this and a little bit of that it's just, i don't want to talk about work blow it off do not talk about what you do because as soon as he thinks you make more money than him or have a better career than him he's going to start treating you different okay He's going to start treating you different. He's going to start talking himself up more. He's going to start trying to impress you more with lies probably. Or he's going to kind of lose interest in you because you, he can't impress you. You know, So you never tell him what you do. Find out what they do first. And if they make more money than you, if they have a better career than you, then they're not going to mind as much what you do. But still never tell them how much you make. You know, so yeah, I'm just starting out. I don't. You know, I should be making more, but I'm not. Don't ever tell them, you know. They always make them think they still got to pay, okay. Always make them think they are they make more money than you. Even if they don't, just lie, you know. Um, <laughs> never let a man know that you make more money than them because it's a turn off. And I don't care what men say in the comments. It's It's a shift of power, okay. So if you want them to treat you the same as they treat, you know, minimum wage Betty, trying to impress her and pay for stuff and take her shopping to, you know, uh, Target, <laughs> go get whatever you want. You know, I like Target, y'all. But you know what I'm saying, the mall, Forever 21, you know, the shops we all shop at. But, you know, to them, it's impressive, you know. To, for a woman that makes her own money and a lot of money you got to go to like you know the high-end stores but for a little you know minimum wage betty forever 21 is good you know so if he could if he can impress um uh, minimum wage betty with a 200 dollars shopping spree you know your sunglasses cost 200 dollars you know your wallet costs two hundred dollars so he's not going to be able to impress you like he can impress her so he's automatically going to be turned off he's not going to get as much reward or return on his money spent with you than with minimum wage betty so you never tell a man how much money you work i mean make you never tell him really what you do until you see how much he has and what he can do for you 
first, okay? And a lot of guys are saying, oh, you're teaching women how to be gold diggers and da 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 No, I'm teaching strategy on how to date, okay? It's not about being gold diggers. It's about strategy. It's about being smart, okay? Too many women wind up losing, wasting time, dealing with cheaters, dealing with broke men because they don't know the strategy, okay? This is the best way to see if a guy has what you need, if not to cut him off and move on to someone who does, okay? This is saving men time and women time, okay? It's saving women from being hurt and men from being probably windshields busted, okay? So <laughs> y'all should be thanking me, all right? I'm trying to help y'all on both sides, men and women, okay? I know men will say anything to get sex, to get whatever they need at, at the time, um, you know, a few dates here and there, but there's a strategy, you know. Some women will use you for food and drink, some won't. You know, some men will use you for sex, some won't. This is just the world we live in. And if you don't have strategy, you'll end up a victim, okay? So have a game plan, have a strategy, know what you're doing, read between the lines. Um, dating is not about love anymore. It's about strategy and getting what you want. And if you just so happen to fall in love, that's an added bonus. All right? I'll see you later. Bye.